saying things people already know out loud is tight. Get out of my head! You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey! If you don't stop, I will contact the Usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and we're gonna have a look at a Ryan George video today. This is called The First Guy to Ever Work in an Office. I can't wait to see this because I have worked in an office before and it is a very unique experience, I think. So I have a very strong feeling I'm gonna be all on board for a lot of these jokes. If you do enjoy Ryan George, I usually react to him on my comedy catch-up videos. They come out every Monday. So if you see the FWC comedy catch-up, that's usually where the Ryan George reactions will be. But I wanted to do a video for this one, especially because I think I'm really gonna relate to this quite a lot. So <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. I just started watching Harry Potter, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So check out all those. Let's check out the first guy to ever work in an office. Hi there, hello. So listen, let me buy your life, okay? What? Let me buy it, please, I'd like to purchase it. Oh, uh, that, no thank you, I'm, I'm using my life right now. Oh, I don't want all of it, just little chunks of it several times a week, I'll give you money. <laughs> oh wait, are you offering? <laughs> Oh my god, that's true! Let me buy eight hours of your time a day, and you can- the other two hours a day, you can just fucking take that on. Give me a job? Yeah, that's what wasn't clear about that. Give me multiple snippets of your time as an alive person, and in exchange I'll give you currency. That's- I mean, I do need money. That's the stuff I use to buy the stuff that helps me stay an alive person. Yeah, so listen, I got this place <laughs> set up for you to work at. You're gonna love it. I am? Oh, 100%. Come on, follow me. <laughs> You're out in a friggin' paddock at the moment. Oh, no! Oh, no thank you. What? I'm in a relationship, buddy. No thank you. Okay, why does that matter? Well, it matters because I'm not gonna follow you and let you show me your orifice. No, th I said office. That's what I'm calling this place, I decided. <laughs> buddy, call it whatever you want. I'm staying faithful. It's not anything gross. It's just this place I want you inside of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a lesson to be learned. If somebody wants to show you their orifice, don't go. He's a smart man. He made better decisions than Core did on the rehearsal from HBO. If you've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Just... I'm not gonna show you my butthole. Oh, okay, that's all you had to say. See, check this place out. Oh, my God, this is it. This is where you're gonna be all the time moving forward. This place is super- <laughs> Can I just say the fact that he's washed a bit, a bit of the color out of the characters makes it even more hilarious. <laughs> Bland and, all, and depressing. Yeah. yeah, well, I figured too many colors would be distracting. So now you can focus. On what? On making me money. I thought you were gonna give me money. I will, yeah, but first you need to help me make a ton of money and then I'll give you a teeny tiny little bit of it. That sounds like a scam. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's a good point. Okay. And hey, listen, I'm gonna need you to dress up a little more than that, okay? Maybe put on a suit and tie. <sighs> For who? I don't know, but I was thinking on Friday we could wear casual clothes. For who? I don't know. I don't know who that's for. All right, and so we... I'm a big believer in casual Friday. It just sets the mood for a Friday in a good way. I don't know. I like a casual. I don't even work on Fridays anymore, but when I did, Casual it up. Where do I work? Oh, you're gonna love this. I got these little cubes for you to work in. Ew, why? Well, with these, I can cram a bunch of people into this space in close proximity to each other. Can I decorate the cube a bit so it's not so bleak? Uh, I mean, a little bit, I guess. Sure, yeah, maybe put a picture of your family to remind yourself that you can't be with them for most of your waking <laughs> hours. When can I spend time with my family and friends? Well, there's gonna be the early morning before you start the commute to work. When I'm tired, because it's early morning. That's right. And then there's also the evening. When I'm tired because I just spent all day working. That's right, and every five days you get two days off. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet. You'll probably have the energy to do like one activity and then kind of recuperate to start over the next week. Okay, that sounds a little <laughs> less cool. How long do I have to do this exactly? Decades. Oh no. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be in a cube for decades? Well, no, not necessarily. If you consistently make me a lot of money, maybe I'll reward you with an office that has a view. What'll that do? Well, then that'll let you look outside and see the beautiful day you're not really allowed to participate in. I guess that's better. And then if you put aside a little bit of money every time I give you some, you could probably stop coming in here by the time... You know, I've worked, uh, I worked at a place where my computer was facing a window, like the computer instead of a wall behind it was like a window. And it was overlooking the city, and I don't know why, it was actually kind of uh, serene and, um, you know, 
peaceful. When you're in your 60s or 70s. I can only have all my time to myself when I'm much, much older. That kind of sucks. Would it help if we called those the golden years? Oh yeah, no, that helps a lot actually. I like the sound of that. Ooh, another thing you're really gonna like about this place. We have this more. room that's like a sanctuary of peace and tranquility where you can just kind of go and get rid of all the bad stuff you're holding inside. Oh, that sounds nice. Right? Yeah, I do like the sound of... Is that the toilet? Wait, are you talking about a bathroom? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna really come to treasure your bathroom breaks, I think. All right, man, well listen, it seems like living costs money and you'll give me some of that if I come here. So fucking true, man, working in an office. I, okay, there was a chick who um, left the company and they were having like a goodbye, you know, little morning tea, morning teas as well. Huge deal in office life. Chick was leaving, they were gonna do a goodbye morning tea and her parting words were, always shit at work, they're paying you for it. And the managers looked at her like, why the fuck did you say that? I was about 18, 19 years old at the time. And I heard those words and I was like, that, I can understand that. <laughs> I can understand the logic behind that. And I've never changed. Here, so I guess I'm in. Fantastic. And I assume if the cost of living goes up for whatever reason, you'll kind of increase the amount of money you give me to match. Oh God, no. All right. Mm, yeah, inflation's a bitch at the moment. Talking about the golden years, with inflation at the moment, people are not even able to properly retire anymore. It's it's a big fucking problem. But yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I think more, the missing out on the morning tea reference is definitely a big thing because they're a huge deal. Like, oh my God, we got a morning tea. We got a morning tea. We're going to get sausage rolls and friggin' a, a bowl of M&Ms and some chips and a, a couple of bottles of like fizzy drink and like they're just the lamest morning teas but you fucking live for those because they break it up and you get paid and you don't have to do your job for a little while that is how a lot of people just get through their day in these kind of things so let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this one don't forget to check out the fwc comedy catch-up videos if you are a fan of ryan george that's where the reactions usually live and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace